Ah, the British summer. Isn't it marvellous? Nothing else quite like it. I've got sand, almost. I've got the sun and I've got a flask of piping hot tea. It is perfect. The only thing that could possibly make it even nicer is a lovely soft top curl. Oh, much like, um, much like that one actually. This is the Citroen Ami Buggy 2. And if you thought the regular Ami was mad, then just take a look at this. As the name implies, it's been designed for a beach lifestyle. So it adds a few extra features, but also takes a few things away. Oh, and with a price tag of £10,495, it's more expensive than the normal Ami, but it's also less practical. This then is like a Citroen Ami Superleggera. This car has been so popular. And to give you a little understanding of this, when Citroen first launched this car in France last year, all 50 units sold out within 18 minutes. It's like getting tickets to your favourite concert, isn't it? Now, Citroen have followed that car up with this, the Miami Buggy 2, and only 40 units are coming to the UK. Now, the first customer to buy their car completed their entire purchase within two minutes, 10 seconds. Now, unfortunately, all 40 units have sold out. But don't worry, a little birdie tells me that Citroen are probably going to be bringing even more of these over to the UK in 2024. I think it's probably about time that I reacquaint myself with the Citroen Ami driving experience. But I have to tell you this because I absolutely love it, okay? So in the joining instructions sent to me, there is a please note section and it says, as Ami is an electric quadricycle, it is not, and I stress not, designed to be driven quickly or aggressively. Please do not drive Ami in this manner. That's like a red rag to a bull, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Dear, it really does make me laugh. Every single time I get into the Ami, I forget how crazy it is. And this Miami Buggy 2 is even more wacky. Take the doors. Well, I say doors, they're, they're not doors, are they? They're gates. They actually remind me of those gates that you get in the supermarket. You know, when you walk into the shop and you have to push them open. And you don't have windows, obviously. All you've got are these pieces of perspex that sort of roll up. And that's, that's your wet weather protection. And then there's this zip out, foldable, roll back fabric roof. And it allows you to look up and look at the cloudy British sky. And look at this, there's even a little bum bag on the steering wheel, presumably to put your valuables in. But isn't it just wacky? Isn't it it's just totally unnecessary? But it's also, cute and adorable at the same time. You know, I absolutely love French cars. Do you know what? This car still makes me absolutely howl with laughter because no matter how many times I drive it, it still puts an enormous smile on my face and I just, I just laugh. I'm constantly laughing because it's just so ridiculous. Now this buggy version, I mean, it drives identically to the normal Ami. I mean, you'd expect it to, wouldn't you? So you still get the same 5.5 kilowatt hour battery and you charge it up down there with an integrated cable. There's eight brake horsepower, eight. I mean, I think before the Ami, I have never driven a car where the brake horsepower is in single figures. And aside from that, you still get the same 28 mile an hour top speed. Now this road that I'm driving on at the moment is 40 miles an hour. My foot is welded to the rubber, to the rubber floor mat and I'm doing 28 miles an hour and I've got a stream of cars behind me. It's times like this where you realise how slow 28 miles an hour really is. 
gosh, this, this queue is rather large, but I, mean, I think I'm going to have to pull over and let these poor people go. Sorry. So sorry. Yeah, all right. Porsche boxed them out of the allowed exhaust. Now those are the things that are carried over from the standard AMI. The things that are different, well, there is a lot more wind noise in here. I am being blown around like a kite on a windy day. And when I last drove the AMI, I sort of likened it to a Wendy house. And when I was being impolite, I was saying, I felt driving an AMI was like driving around in a massive port -aloon. Today, it feels like I'm driving a Wendy house without the doors on, or a port without the doors on. It is like no other experience. It is totally balmy. Now you feel every single pothole, every single pimple in the road, which might be fine. <laughs> which might be fine on really smooth south of France roads, but in Britain it means you've got a bone-shaking ride. <laughs> Comfortable, it ain't. So, really the positives of the Citroen Ami, even in buggy form, they are few and far between. The ride is hard, it's very, very windy, it's not very fast, it's a little bit noisy. It's uncomfortable. Have I already said that? It's uncomfortable. It's not very fast again. Have I already said that? But really, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because the types of people who have bought this car and who may potentially buy this car, if Citroen imports some more of them in the years to come, well, they are absolute Citroen anoraks. And these kinds of features that I've just said, well, they they give it, they give it character, don't they? As much as this car is absolutely wildly bonkers, and I sort of really do love it, I do feel as though I'm not the target market. I need to get into the, into the shoes of the target market. What I need to go and do now is go and do some leisure. I need to go and do an activity kind of activity that somebody who buys a Citroen Ami buggy would go and do. Uh. 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 Why would anyone want to do this for fun? It's horrible! Oh yeah, come and drive the Citroen Ami buggy, they said. Go waterboarding, uh, paddle boarding, they said. Well, it's bloody awful, I tell you. Bloody awful. I'm cold and I'm wet. I'm so wet and I'm cold. <laughs> and now I'll go towards the weed. Stop! Stop! No! No, please, no! 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 <coughs> Help! This car is not really for me, and the lifestyle it's supposed to be representing really isn't my cup of tea. I can really see why this car has sold out, because it's just so fun and frivolous, isn't it? But most importantly of all, I just love the fact that Citroen have brought this car to the UK. It makes no sense whatsoever, but the very fact that they offer this car for sale here in Britain shows that they've got a sense of humour. And for that reason alone, I absolutely love it.